In your temporal life, the will of the finite creature and the will of the infinite Creator are to become as one, even as they are also uniting in the evolving deity of the Supreme Being. Pour out upon the planet of your bestowal the Spirit of Truth, and thus make all normal mortals on that isolated sphere immediately and fully accessible to the ministry of the segregated presence of our Paradise Father, the Thought Adjusters of the Realms. 7. In all that you may perform on the world of your bestowal, bear constantly in mind that you are living a life for the instruction and edification of all your universe. You are bestowing this life of mortal incarnation upon your rancha, but you are to live such a life for the spiritual inspiration of every human and superhuman intelligence that has lived, now exists, or may yet live on every inhabited world which has formed, now forms, or may yet form a part of the vast galaxy of your administrative domain. Your earth life in the likeness of mortal flesh shall not be so lived as to constitute an example for the mortals of Urantia in the days of your earthly sojourn, nor for any subsequent generation of human beings on Urantia or on any other world. Rather, shall your life in the flesh on Urantia be the inspiration for all lives upon all Nebadon worlds throughout all generations in the ages to come. 8. Your great mission to be realized and experienced in the mortal incarnation is embraced in your decision to live a life wholeheartedly motivated to do the will of your Paradise Father, thus to reveal God, your Father, in the flesh and especially to the creatures of the flesh. At the same time, you will also interpret with a new enhancement, our Father, to the supermortal beings of all Nebadon. Equally with his ministry of new revelation and augmented interpretation of the Paradise Father to the human and the superhuman type of mind, you will also so function as to make a new revelation of man to God. Exhibit in your one short life in the flesh, as it has never before been seen in all Nebadon, the transcendent possibilities attainable by a God-knowing human during the short career of mortal existence, and make a new and illuminating interpretation of man and the vicissitudes of his planetary life to all the superhuman intelligences of all Nebadon and for all time. You are to go down to Urantia in the likeness of mortal flesh, and living as a man in your day and generation, you will so function as to show your entire universe the ideal of perfected technique in the supreme engagement of the affairs of your vast creation, the achievement of God seeking man and finding him, and the phenomenon of man seeking God and finding him, and doing all of this to mutual satisfaction, and doing it during one short lifetime in the flesh. 9. I caution you ever to bear in mind that, while in fact you are to become an ordinary human of the realm, in potential you will remain a creator son of the Paradise Father. Throughout this incarnation, although you will live and act as a son of man, the creative attributes of your personal divinity will follow you from Salvington to Urantia. It will ever be within your power of will to terminate the incarnation at any moment subsequent to the arrival of your thought adjuster. Prior to the arrival and reception of the adjuster, I will vouch for your personality integrity. But subsequent to the arrival of your adjuster, and concomitant with your progressive recognition of the nature and import of your bestowal mission, you should refrain from the formulation of any superhuman will to attainment, achievement, or power in view of the fact that your creator prerogatives will remain associated with your mortal personality because of the inseparability of these attributes from your personal presence. But no superhuman repercussions will attend your earthly career apart from the will of the Paradise Father, unless you should, by an act of conscious and deliberate will, make an undivided decision which would terminate in whole personality choice. 3. Further Counsel and Advice And now, my brother, in taking leave of you as you prepare to depart for your Urantia, and after counseling you regarding the general conduct of your bestowal, allow me to present certain advices that have been arrived at in consultation with Gabriel, 
and which concern minor phases of your mortal life. We further suggest 1. That in the pursuit of the ideal of your mortal earth life, you also give some attention to the realization and exemplification of some things practical and immediately helpful to your fellow men. 2. As concerns family relationships, give precedence to the accepted customs of family life as you find them established in the day and generation of your bestowal. Live your family and community life in accordance with the practices of the people among whom you have elected to appear. 3. In your relations to the social order, we advise that you confine your efforts largely to spiritual regeneration and intellectual emancipation. Avoid all entanglements with the economic structure and the political commitments of your day. More especially, devote yourself to living the ideal religious life on your ancha. 4. Under no circumstances, and not even in the least detail, should you interfere with the normal and orderly progressive evolution of the Urantia races. But this prohibition must not be interpreted as limiting your efforts to leave behind you on Urantia an enduring and improved system of positive religious ethics. As a dispensational son, you are granted certain privileges pertaining to the advancement of the spiritual and religious status of the world peoples. 5. As you may see fit, you are to identify yourself with existing religious and spiritual movements as they may be found on your rancha, but in every possible manner seek to avoid the formal establishment of an organized cult, a crystallized religion, or a segregated ethical grouping of mortal beings. Your life and teachings are to become the common heritage of all religions and all peoples. 6. To the end that you may not unnecessarily contribute to the creation of subsequent stereotyped systems of Urantia religious beliefs or other types of non-progressive religious loyalties, we advise you still further. Leave no writings behind you on the planet. Refrain from all writing upon permanent materials. Enjoin your associates to make no images or other likenesses of yourself in the flesh. See that nothing potentially idolatrous is left on the planet at the time of your departure. 7. While you will live the normal and average social life of the planet, being a normal individual of the male sex, you will probably not enter the marriage relation, which relation would be wholly honorable and consistent with your bestowal. But I must remind you that one of the incarnation mandates of Sanarington forbids the leaving of human offspring behind on any planet by a bestowal son of paradise origin. 8. In all other details of your oncoming bestowal, we would commit you to the leading of your indwelling adjuster, the teaching of the ever-present divine spirit of human guidance, and the reasoned judgment of your expanding human mind of hereditary endowment. Such an association of creature and creator attributes will enable you to live for us the perfect life of man on the planetary spheres, not necessarily perfect as regarded by any one man in any one generation on any one world, much less on your ancha, but wholly and supremely replete as evaluated on the more highly perfected and perfecting worlds of your far-flung universe. And now may your father and my father, who has ever sustained us in all past performances, guide and sustain you, and be with you from the moment you leave us and achieve the surrender of your consciousness of personality throughout your gradual return to recognition of your divine identity incarnate in human form, and then on through the whole of your bestowal experience on your rancha until your deliverance from the flesh and your ascension to our Father's right hand of sovereignty. When I shall again see you on Salvington, we shall welcome your return to us as the supreme and unconditional sovereign of this universe of your own making, serving, and completed understanding. In your stead, I now reign. I assume jurisdiction of all Nevedon as acting sovereign during the interim of your seventh and mortal bestowal on Urantia. And to you, Gabriel, I commit the safekeeping of the Son of Man, about to be, until he shall presently and in power and glory be returned to me as the Son of Man and the Son of God.